All right, air filter recommendations because of all that smog outside. So if you live in the Midwest or in the Northeast, you probably notice when you went outside, it doesn't look well. This is pretty much what the air looks like in New Jersey right now. There's a huge decrease in air quality when there's wildfires and crazy ash is being blown into the air. We see this right now with the Canadian wildfires blowing down ash. We see it when the wildfires are occurring in California and the crazy bushfires that occurred in Australia. But we also see increased lung problems on high ozone days here in Texas and when we get the Sahara dust storm here in Texas as well. Don't forget the irritants inside your house when you, if you have a gas stove. That's why as an allergist, I actually have an air filter in every single one of my rooms in my home and a big air filter in the middle. I did buy these over time because they're quite expensive and they do add up. This is my main air filter that I have in my living room. I like this one because it has a large square footage that it can clean out and because it has activated carbon for ozone because a typical HEPA air filter isn't going to remove ozone because it's a gas and it's not technically a, a nanoparticle. And this smaller version from the same brand is actually what I have in almost every bedroom in the home. I also make sure I change my AC um, filters every three months and I do keep my windows closed when the air quality outside is bad. I generally do recommend air filters almost everywhere in the United States now because of a combination of either ozone or um, irritants or pollution in the air. All right, I hope that helps.